Hey, I'm Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So, stay tuned. Okay, today I promised you that I was going to show you some of the prints that I had worked on in the past few weeks uh, as I was learning from Fulton and exploring my own uh, my own voice if you will but cutting my own stencils choosing my own colors and I think that I kind of know where I want to go from here uh, just painting on the plate and then taking my prints and making some different shapes with my stencils uh, and maybe even using some commercial stencils also but I haven't I sort of have a plan but right now I promised you that I would show you the prints that I had worked on in the past few weeks so here goes There's one. I guess I could do it this way. Um, let me let me try a different method. This might work. Okay, we'll we'll pull all of them here. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the one that I. Um, veiled and I also added that lettering stencil in different areas to look more like a monument. Anyway, this is a stencil that I cut. Let's see if I can find it here. Well, I just had it. What did I do with that? Oh, well, I'll show you another time. Okay, this is, um, here it is. I'm sorry, I'm not so organized today. Um, here is a stencil that I used and basically this is a Bristol board that I I think I might have um, used some gloss medium on it on both sides to give it some body and then I painted on it each application is gonna add something to it and 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 make it usable but you can see those shapes here and here this is the one I was looking for this is another one that I cut. So you'll be seeing it um, in the future. I think this might go like this. Not real sure. Oh well. And this is sort of a mate to the other one. Um, same, same color. Different shapes in the stencil forms. I think you might have seen me working on this one. This was the the first layers were done with a an oil resist and that sort of uh, I think it's ultramarine but it, it has a sort of a royal it sort of has a purpley look to it. Maybe that's because of the magenta that I added to that next layer. This was gold that I metallic gold that I added. And then of course the last was the uh, lighter value. This is one that I really am looking forward to getting back to. I really like it where I've also used random stenciling 
and I did that on top of the print just by pouncing through the stencil to add those lettered areas. And I like this one. I like the, uh, the shapes here, the stacking. I, I really like the colors. I like the layering of, and I, I think there's some copper metallic in this one. And this is a mixture of my, my, my favorite is, I, I love yellow ochre and Payne's Gray together. And this is yellow ochre and mixed with some off-white, or it might even be parchment. And this is one I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to. Um, commercial stencils, overlaying, just adding some interest. I think I've shown you this one. Uh, in some of the earlier videos but I did add with a commercial stencil a little mod mini from um, I think it was it's from stencil core products but I don't know that that's the name of the stencil this one you've seen uh, in one of my previous videos which I, I really like this piece. I probably am not going to do anything to it. I just really like it. The only thing I don't like, and I might soften it, is these hard edges right here that go across this way in the middle of the print. So I might soften it just a little bit, but I'm not sure. But I will do it with a sponge and very lightly uh, do that. And I like this one also. You can see this is also when I definitely needed help with my registration. And you can see a lot, a lot of misregistration on this one. Uh, but I really like the copper and I like the interaction of the warm and the cool. Cool down in the lower depths, warm on top. And I love the texture of this. I just really like the texture of this. And this is another one that I like a lot. Definitely some warm and cool uh, interaction, working from darker to lighter. This is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is a standalone. I'm not going to do anything to this piece. I, I really like the, uh, I just like the depth that it has in these darker layers and working from dark to light. But I, I like this uh, texture in the, in the very top layer that sort of resembles a, 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 a plastered wall that's decaying. You know, I, I don't know the word for that, or I do know the word, but it's not coming to me right now. But Anyway, I just really like this print. I just really like it. And of course, that's the first one I showed you. And there you go.